At least give the Eagles a chance on offense to take the lead. Because the score will make it a 10 point ball game and that means two possessions. And I don't know if there's enough time left on the clock the way that Pendleton Knights has been able to move the ball up and down the field. So identical plays back to back and this one will pick up the first down. It's now first and 10 Arabians. Ball on the 14 yard line. They're actually gonna have a measurement So Coach Zagunda yelling at his defense. They have been giving up yards on big plays, making some dumb errors, mental errors that is. A couple times jumping off sides on third down plays. So first and San Arabians. Ball on the 14-yard line as Jesse Froze under center once again. So three plays in a row. It's been sweeps out left to John Froze, and this time the Eagles are all over it. We're going to bring up second down and 10. Just over seven minutes left to play in tonight's ball game. Now second and 10 ball on the 13 yard line for Pendleton Heights in this Arabian offense. Man in motion out right. Brody Runyon was in the backfield and John Furrow, the pass is complete. And that's Avery Hazley with the tackle. So gain of about six will once again bring up third and about four yards to go. And third down has been the weakness for the Eagles on defense. Like I mentioned, they have jumped off sides twice on third down, and they are having a hard time tonight stopping this Arabian offense in crucial situations. So third and five, big play right here for the Eagle defense. As always, you have John Furrow in the backfield, two wide receivers out, Jim Arney in motion. Furrow's gonna roll out left. Pressure was on him. Pass is incomplete, will bring up fourth down for the Eagles, actually for the Arabians, so big stop by Delta on third down. They have tried two field goals tonight, the Arabians have. They are one of two, John Furrow is the field goal kicker. As of right now, they are leaving the offense out on the field. So fourth and five as the offense is going to stay on the field for Coach Broughton. To this point, this is the biggest down of the game. You have two wide receivers right, one left, and Pendleton Heights is going to take a timeout with 5.43 left in tonight's ballgame. And we'll be right back with a word from one of our sponsors. You are watching Web Sports Machine. Let State Farm agent Jason May handle all the moving parts to your insurance. Whether it's for auto, home, life, or financial services, Jason May is there for more ways to help and more ways to save. Call or visit Jason May today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And welcome back to Web Sports Machine. The biggest play of the game is coming up right here, fourth and four. Before the timeout, Coach Broughton and this Pendleton Knights team had the offense out on the field. 
And once again, the offense will stay out there. So they are going for it on fourth and five. Watch John Froh in the backfield. He's been their key player on offense. This time it is complete in the end zone to Kurt Talbert for the touchdown. So they were expecting run the whole time. And the coverage was not there by the Eagles. So now 16-7, to making it a two-possession ball game. As now John Furrow will be on to kick the PAT once again, as always. So the kick sails through the uprights by Furrow, making it 17-7 to here at Delta High School. Pendleton Heights out on top over the Eagles here on Webb Sports Machine. And we will be right back with more action. While we have some, uh, some downtime in tonight's ball game, we're going to throw up some photos that were brought to you by Red Pen Productions earlier throughout the game. And welcome back to Web Sports Machine. We'd like to thank Red Pen Productions for the photos tonight. So as the Arabians get set to kick off, it is a 17-7 ball game after the pass completion inside the end zone and the PAT. That pass was complete to Kurt Sauber. He stands at six foot five. So it was a big target, and they hooked up with him for six, making it 17-7. Here, 5:38 left in the fourth. Kyle Cox and Joe Spiegel set back to return for the Eagles. As John Furrow, the running back and kicker, is set to kick off. So Kyle Cox is going to bring it out. Had some room to run, created some space, but he's brought down at the 27. So with five minutes and 31 seconds left to play, Cade Jones, the sophomore starting quarterback, will come out onto the field once again for the Eagles, and he's going to try and make this a little closer ball game, already down by 10. Now Clay Fullenkamp coming out on to play offense. Jones draws back to pass. It's complete to Rob Fox making the spectacular catch at the 43-yard line. So Rob Fox laying out for the catch. It's now ball on the 43-yard line. First and 10 Eagles. This time pass is complete to Kyle Cox for the first down. So back-to-back -back plays, kicking up first downs by Cade Jones. Offensive line is doing a great job giving him time to create some plays in the backfield. Ball spotted on the 46-yard line. Have to imagine what this, what difference it would make if Jalen Robinson was in the game right now. Joe Spiegel picking up the first down off of the draw. So that's over 30 yards on the last play. Three straight first downs. Now ball right on the 34-yard line. Like I was trying to mention, Jalen Robinson, their leading receiver, is out for most of the season. He got injured against Yorktown last week, and you have to imagine what type of difference that would make in tonight's ball game. Pass is intercepted across the middle. And there goes the clipboard. Now, 
That play was picked off by Cody Cochran. He is number seven. So 428 left in tonight's ball game. As the Eagles are now down by 10, 17 to 7 with 428 remaining. Now, first and ten Arabians, and they're going to be looking to take some time off the clock. Spurs dropped right around the line of scrimmage. So you have to imagine there might be enough time for the Eagles to get a three and out and then maybe score twice, but it's going to be very tough for this Eagle defense to stop the Arabians. They've had a hard time doing it all night. So second and ten, handoff to Jim Arney. He's going to pick up about three yards on the play, but he's brought down at the 25-yard line. Now three minutes and 30 seconds left in play. This is another big play for the Eagle defense on third and down and about six yards to move the chains. And while we have the time, we'd like to thank all of you viewers for tuning in and staying with us tonight. We know it is past midnight, so it's taking a very long time to end this game tonight. It didn't get started until about three hours late. So we appreciate all you guys tuning in. And John Furrow is brought down to the line of scrimmage. That will bring out the punt unit for Pendleton Heights. So the Eagles will get the ball with about two minutes and 30 seconds remaining. It'll be Kyle Cox set back to return. Watch out for Alex Fawadavai to get the block. He had a pump block last year. Beautiful pump by John Furrow. And it will take an Arabian bounce. That will roll to about the 23, maybe 22 yard line before it is down. So the Eagles will take over with 2.08 left in the fourth. Down by 10, a two possession ball game here at Delta High School. So first and 10 from the 23. Last time Kay Jones threw an interception across the middle. They were getting some good yardage on every play but that one. The play set to resume, 2.08 left in tonight's ball game. Passes picked off once again. It came off of Rob Fox's hands. And that one is brought all the way back to the end zone by Austin Koffel. So Pendleton Heights making some big plays when they need to. Now 23-7. to Just under two minutes remaining. And that one is pretty much going to wrap up the ball game. Now a three possession game with 159 left in play. So that, was, that is twice tonight that the ball is tipped off of Rob Fox's hands into the other team's hands. And you have to imagine the, what the difference would be in this game if the, if the turf was not wet, if Jalen Robinson was in this game. So now 24-7 to as John Furrow kicks it, the PAT through the uprights. So a three-possession ball game, 159 left to play. As we are live at Delta High School, and we will be right back with more action. You are watching Web Sports Machine.
And welcome back to Webb Sports Machine. After the interception ran back for a touchdown in the PAT, it is now a 24-7 ball game, so a three-possession game with just one minute and 59 seconds left in play. And unless they pull off some type of a miracle, this game should be won by Pendleton Knights Arabians. They will move to 4-2 and two, as well will the Eagles with the loss. So John Furrow is set to kick off once again to the Eagles. And it will be Kyle Cox returning the kick. So he'll be brought down at the 25-yard line. He didn't have very much room to run with it on that play. Now 151 left in tonight's ball game. After ending two straight possessions on interceptions. As a quarterback, you got to forget about those, but let's see what Cade Jones can come out and do with just under two minutes left to play. So first and ten Eagles from the 25-yard line. And Joe Spiegel with the run. Picks up some big yards, and I think he may take this one all the, back, all the way to the house. But he's brought down at the seven-yard line. So a big play by Joe Spiegel. And it may be a little too late to come back in this ball game. But add that one to his highlight reel. He has been making big plays all year. He's now rushed for over 700 yards on the season. He has six touchdowns, and he's been making plays all season. But the Eagles are still down 24-7, to and it is first and goal to go on the seven-yard line. Spiegel this time has dropped right around the line of scrimmage. So one ten left to play as Tavis Rattray brings the play out into the huddle. Bryce Dishman is brought down in the backfield, loss of about one. So with the game clock winding down, it is now third down and about 10 yards to go for the touchdown as this game is all but over with around 35 seconds left to play. Jones drops back to pass. Pass interference on the play. That pass was intended for number 85, Rob Fox. So with 24.6 left, it is now first down and five. Goal to go for the touchdown. So Kay Jones out to Kyle Cox. And this one is in for the touchdown. So we'll make it 24 to 13. They'll try and get the PA team, make it a 10-point ball game, but it is still two possessions away from the Eagles taking the lead and winning this ball game. So John Kern set back to kick the PAT. Kick is up, and it is good. Going to make it 24-14 to 14 here at Delta High School. The Pendleton Knights Arabians are out on top 24-14. to 14. And we'll be right back with the remainder of tonight's ball game. You are watching Web Sports Machine.
And welcome back to Webb Sports Machine. 19.2 seconds left after the touchdown by the Eagles. So now a 24-14 ball game after the touchdown as John Kern is on to kick the onside kick. Still some hope and faith left on the Delta sideline. And will be recovered by the Arabians. So all they have to do is take a knee and this one will be over with 16.9 seconds left in the ball game. Ball is going to be on the 39 yard line. So with the win, Pendleton Heights will now be 4-2, and 1-2 two, and two in conference play. The Eagles will now be also 4-2, and two, but they will be 2-1 and one in conference play. And that will wrap up tonight's ball game as the, play, as the game clock winds down to zero. And for the second straight year, the Arabians come out on top over the Eagles. This time it is 24-14. And that will actually do it. So like I mentioned, the Arabians come out on top tonight over the Eagles at Delta High School. And right now we would like to thank all of you viewers for tuning in tonight and sticking with us. We know it was a very hard time getting back on. and We had some technical difficulties, but we appreciate you tuning in. Uh, it was a late, very late start on the game due to the lightning delay. And like I mentioned, we appreciate you guys tuning in and watching our broadcast right here on Web Sports Machine. We are hopefully going to bring you next week's matchup for the Delta Eagles. They will be traveling to Rushville. Uh, stay tuned on our Facebook page. We'll be letting you know if we'll be broadcasting that game. We plan on it. If so, that game is a 7.30 start time, and you can watch that on Facebook or on WebSportsMachine.com. But for Adam Brown and everybody else here with Web Sports Machine, we appreciate you tuning in. Good night, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen.